My name is Kareem. I'm basically making this video to teach uh, the young kings out there about hygiene. But one of my favorite quotes to go by is, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. So I'm making this video so you guys can get right. All right, so when I first get into the bathroom, I, have to, I usually have to tie up my hair uh, into a ponytail, it doesn't matter. If it's a hair wash day, then you know, I'll, let, I'll leave my hair down. But if I'm not trying to get my hair wet or like a haircut messed up, I'll like pin up my hair. Right now, I don't have anything right now, so I'm gonna take an L. Just basically just tie it back using my other dreads. All right, so the first thing I like to take care of is dental hygiene. Uh, floss, always carry floss on you anywhere you go. I carry this floss everywhere I go. I usually like to floss after every meal, but if you can't, it's always good to, you know, just floss once a day, at least. All right, so what I like to do is start from the back and work my way to the front. If you don't know how to floss, you basically, you basically put the floss between your tooth and then pick out the food. It can be anything in there, so make sure you like, you can go in there, but like don't go too deep. You may even see some bleeding if you uh, go too hard, so just be careful. If there's a particular way that people floss that it's supposed to be done, feel free to leave it in the comments below how it is, because what I tend to do is usually I go within the tooth, go around the top and come back out, and then do it, go in there again and do the same thing, but uh, the opposite direction. All right, so I'm gonna get back into it, get the bottom row. If you're fortunate enough to go to the dentist, please do. I know a lot of people that uh, unfortunately don't have, you know, dental care. So if you do have that luxury of being able to go and it won't hurt you, definitely go. All right, so next on the dental hygiene list, we brush our teeth. I'm using Tom's of Maine uh, anti-plaque and whitening toothbrush, uh, toothpaste. Uh, the fluoride free, it's natural. That's what I'm hearing. You know, some people be lying, but give you some natural toothpaste. Uh, I know a good a good website to check out for uh, a lot of natural things. A good website to check out is Fruits and News. Really, what I do to brush my teeth, first I'll go around it, first with all the toothpaste, and then rinse it off, and then I start from the back and start scraping downward. From the top, to the bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, going all the way around, and I'll rinse it off again, then I'll do it from the bottom, on, going bottom to top. And then once I do that, and I'll go back in for another round. And then I might do like an extra, you know, for sure, wipe around them all. Yeah, when I brush my teeth, I like to I treat them like ditches, you know what I'm saying? Just ditches, ditches. Now, I'm not done brushing my teeth. After I do that, I get it from the top to bottom and bottom to top, and I go on the inside and like scrape around too, as well. See, the thing is, if you're gonna do this, that's why I say be careful about the toothpaste that you are gonna choose, because you gotta be careful what you put in your mouth all around. You gotta think about it. This is why a lot of old people lose teeth by the time they like older, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they brushing their teeth with like cold gates and stuff with a lot of fluoride. And so that's why I said it's best to go Tom's, go natural, anything natural. I also heard that charcoal toothpaste is a good choice as well. So no. Man, shut up. Alright, so right afterwards. A little bit of uh, petroleum jelly on my lips. What I recommend next is that you get into like some exfoliating or anything with your face. I just got into that, so I'm not gonna have it in this video. That's what I'm about to head out to right now. I'm about to head out to get some stuff for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, but for now, I'm gonna hop in the shower. Uh, make sure you take off the jewelry. You know, I'm gonna get myself a little brush. So, I uh, make sure that the water is warm. It doesn't have to be warm. If you take cold showers, hey, good for you. That's good for you. I've been hearing a lot about that, but for me, I like my water uh, warm. Also, I'm using Everyman Jack. Uh, it's the sandalwood. It's the most natural that Walmart will probably go as far as with body. But I, like I said, I recommend those websites. I also recommend that you check out CMOS, but that's another video for a different time. Right off the bat, after getting into some water, I like to put some petrol petroleum jelly again. And that's applied as number one. Yeah, I apply it so I can have that, that glow. I like to put on some hemp, coconut, uh, body moisturizer. So I like to put this on before the deodorant as well. That way my armpits aren't ashy, if that's even a thing. I never heard of anybody having ashy armpits, but that's just me. Like I said, this is just my way of basically doing everything. If you guys have any recommendations on what I should be doing different or what you recommend, Please let me know below in the comments. 
All right, now that we got the lotion applied, now we can put our deo on. Time for men, uh, natural deodorant. Like I said, a lot of things we should try to go for natural things. The more natural, the better. IMO. All right, so last but not least, as far as with the bathroom, you gotta top it all off with some uh, with some mouth rinse. I treat mouthwash like it's pine saw. So like, if I'm using my cup, I'll pour some in, but only a little bit, and then add some water to it. It's like, you know, when you mop the floor, you just don't mop it with straight pine saw, right? So why would you do that with? Looking good, looking good, feeling good, you know what I'm saying? The fit that I chose today was just a, a simple gray sweatpants, you know, and I ain't really going nowhere today. I don't have an ironing board, so I have to kind of ghetto boy this, but. What you always want to do is make sure that you are ironing your clothes, even if you're wearing just a basic shirt. Uh, make sure that your, your clothes do look good. You always want to present yourself whenever you go out. Just think about it like that. Whenever you go out, it's a presentation. Since I'm wearing just a regular white t-shirt, what I like to do, you know, sit it down, make sure all the creases are out, smooth it out with your hand. Start from top to bottom, man, top to bottom. That little piece of advice of going from top to bottom helps you out with a lot of different things. And you know, even when it comes to cleaning up, like I, I like to start top from bottom, so like we all know the dishes are gonna be before, you know, you mop or sweep. You gotta be careful when you iron in a white t-shirt because you don't wanna burn it. Little creases every now and then. If you can't get it, you can't get it, but try to get it as best as possible. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I kinda dirtied up this white t-shirt by doing this, so I'm never doing this again. Another thing I like to do, I like to make sure that I do put my jewelry on. If you have any jewelry, any necklaces or anything, uh, if you have any rings, any earrings, anything like that, any little accents to add to what you already got going. Since I don't really have a haircut going on right now, I'm gonna head to the barbershop, but for now, if you gotta wear a hat to cover it up, you know what I'm saying, you can always do that. It's not wrong with it. And then casual it out, you know, most rich people, they don't, they do you catch them in something basic like this. So, you know, you don't always gotta be flashing young kids. Also, your, your colognes and perfumes, those are the most important things. Right now I'm running low on my uh, DR Sauvage Power Fuel. I highly recommend that you do invest in your smell as well. Not only just your workspace or anything like that, but you know, yourself as well. Uh, if you would like to know where you can find some of those, for like the low, you gotta invest in my Patreon. Uh, I'll put you on with certain links and everything like that. Any name brand fragrances or you know things like that, you gotta subscribe to the Patreon. That's pretty much it.